and welcome to Learn From the Experts, presented by the Women Business Owners Alliance of the Pioneer Valley. The WBOA is made up of women entrepreneurs, and we have about 100 members. The business women that you will see on our program are all members of the WBOA and are excited to share their expertise and knowledge with you. So sit back, relax, and be wowed by their skills that they're going to show you. My name is Carlene Hoffman from The Clutter Doctor, and my co-host... Hi, I'm Susan Allen from Susan Allen Financial, and I'm here with Anita Eliason and Jennifer Roberge, and they are with Sesta Style and Girlfriend in Your Closet. Now, I have a question for you ladies. What are the color trends for this season? Mm. Excellent question, because it really <laughs> helps with how you present yourself out there, and you can feel a little trendy without having to spend money, or, and and um, just feel like you've read Vogue and you know what's going on. <laughs> and right. you, obviously, have read Vogue, because yeah. you're wearing one of the big colors of the season, which is this bright royal blue, and you'll see it a lot in fashion jewelry, accessories, and clothing. Anita's also wearing another great color, which is um, this beautiful shade of green, really mm -hmm. be beautiful sort of deep jade color. Um, other colors, the color of the year was Radiant Orchid, so that's oh, wow. that pretty. continues through Very the theme. Pretty. And also a more of a lavender shade that was really pig in spring, but it continues on as a, as a more accented color for fall. And then the Oxblood or, or um, Burgundy is very big. And oh, that's even gorgeous, see it yes. And uh, place setting trends, pillows for your couch, lipsticks, mm -hmm. uh, shoes and accessories are terrific in Oxblood, even suits and jackets are terrific. And then we also have uh, more neutral colors like cognac and uh, what they're calling aluminum, like a real pretty gray. Mm -hmm. And then bright accents of a bright sort of goldy yellow and a bright orange color are wow. fun trends. Okay. And they all kind of mix and match. Now the key to colors is knowing which color is best for you. Okay. Not everyone can wear this bright orange. Mm -hmm. It might look absolutely ghastly on certain people and other people it looks fantastic. So you really need to know what color it works best for you. Um, this royal blue color is actually a nice color for most people. And okay. same with this green. Most people can wear those. So those are mm -hmm. good. And also that radiant orchid. Those are terrific. And the um, burgundy color. Those are real good colors. So these four really, you can, almost everyone can wear those. And so that's a nice, easy, safe spot to start and then accessorize or uh, accent with different shades of color to go back to kind of give it a little zip. Even this beautiful scarf that I have has both mixes of that, that neutral with the splash of color. So, Wonderful. you know, it's, it's um, and just play with it. It's hard, to, it's hard to know what's the best. So really work with it. Find a, a, a somebody who's a professional who knows colors, can do a color consultation with you. Mm -hmm. um, and that's really the best way, because then you really know wh really what color, and even what shades. You know, you talk about greens. There's right, a there's thousand shades, shades of green. Right, there's absolutely. a thousand right. shades of blue. So which shades work best for you, for your complexion, mm -hmm. so that people say, where did you go on vacation instead of you need a vacation? <laughs> you know, right, really true. color is so um, strong and powerful for people. And it also makes you, when you're wearing those colors that you love, you leave your house feeling fabulous, you know. Mm -hmm. And that really, that's um, just an a inner lift for yourself. It gives you a color. zest. It gives you a zest, exactly. But I have to point out this beautiful flower arrangement because this has got a lot of the colors. We're seeing exactly. this beautiful burgundy. Mm -hmm. But yeah. even if you look the in yellows, nature, you're seeing so many different shades of green, for example. And, mm -hmm. and when you're picking your garden, it's the same thing. You want some lighter shades, some darker shades. You want contrast. A mix. So right. they do follow, this season more than many seasons, it's really following the colors of fall. Sometimes yeah, it's a complete disconnect. Right. This is really these beautiful right. shades of these and these mums and things. And again, with this color orange, it's so bright. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But if you want to add something fall, pick something that's a little right. A little something more like this, right. so which here. again is the orange, but not nearly a little bit away from the neons that we saw in the spring. They were a very strong statement in exactly. the springs. And in relative to body shape, because you want to wear the right colors, but you also want to wear the right styles for you. Mm -hmm. So we're seeing um, a lot of vests this season, which is interesting, no, and um, are these are two great examples, and these were chosen from Jennifer's wardrobe, so you can just go into mm -hmm. your own closet and just pull the things that are really going to be on trend, right. and uh, what's great about vests, of 
course, is that they have pockets. So right. Right. for all of our cell phone use, it's just mm -hmm. great to be able to take them with you, look casual. Right. You could even forego a bag and just kind of have your pocket and some money. And leather is really big again for fall. So a leather vest and a long vest and even yes. like mm -hmm. a long cardigan right. like I wore today. Those are real big trends for fall, wearing longer And asymmetrical. Pieces. So yeah. we're getting a lot of this floppy yeah. business going on as well. Yeah, and you could also draw Pretty. this up if you felt like it, and you could bring it up with a pin just to be a little bit different if you right. wanted to look more like a jacket. So that would be another way to wear that. Here's another asymmetrical. So we're going to have these layered looks going on, long mm -hmm. sleeves underneath, shorter sleeves on top. And also this busy pattern, yeah. kind of asymmetrical. Um, not 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 a floral, not a you know, just kind of a kind of a loose geometric. Yeah, and same with right? this, like the geometric. Yeah. Those are really big for fall. Geometric patterns. And of course, animal prints, once Remain. again. I love animal prints. <laughs> Remain. This Yet particular again. one is from me because I have a lot of gray in my hair, so mm -hmm. I go to the black and gray tones where Anita and actually all th the three of you would be more into the browns and gold tones of the animal print kingdom mm -hmm. um, would be better for you, for the three of you. So and this is a good example too because when it comes to choosing the colors that are not only on trend but are right for you, I'd probably stay away from aluminum because that's right. that against me. Probably right, not but this the would be better. The, the, right, so the cognac I is red. Right. I can see that. Yes, that's I'd be looking very for warm. Right, that's right. versus right. cognac, prints. not so good for me, but aluminum, right. terrific for me. Right. right. So again, knowing which which shades are better for you, and, and then right. just ignore the other ones. Right. Yes. Exactly. Ones just stay with the you. ones that work for you. Good for you. Right. A-line dresses are big again too, and knit dresses, knit knitwear, and A-line styles are very very big. Again, right out of my closet. So Gorgeous. I looked at the fashion magazines and figured it out. Um, spoke to Anita. We figured out what's, what's trending for season. And I went and looked at my own closet first and pick what before you have. Before you purchase. Before you start purchasing. Because a lot of us, sometimes we're at the stores before we've unpacked our right. fall wardrobe that's in right. you know, bins that's or tucked away in another room. And then we keep, and it's like, oh, and you buy it, and you put it up, and it's like, oh, geez, I already have a gray cardigan, and I just mm -hmm. bought another yeah. one. We tend to buy the same things that we're, we like. I do like. that. You know, we all do that. Yeah. I just did that today. I looked in my closet, and I opened it, and there was a blouse that I was going to wear today, and yeah. then I looked, and I had another one with the price tag on. So I had bought two of exactly. the same shirt. And, and when I go into women's <laughs> know, closets, I happen. often find, you know, they're looking for a black blazer. They have 10 black blazers. Right, it's exactly. Like you need to you know, figure out which back blazer is the best one, you know. So if somebody's looking to amp up their wardrobe and they want to go to the store and make some purchases, do you have any advice on how to do that? And so Definitely. I find I get to the store and I'm just so confused. You know, it's just racks and racks and they have a hard time trying to put outfits together. Right. Well, I think the key is knowing if you know what colors work best on you and what shapes work best on you, then you can eliminate three quarters of that right. store already. Sure. And you can say, that's, that's, that's not my color, that's not my color, that's not my color, that's not my shape, that's not my shape. And then say, oh, that, that would might work. And then, and then so you can really narrow it down right away. I can shop a gigantic store in 10 minutes because mm -hmm. right. I know exactly what shapes work for me and what colors work for me. And I help that with clients as well, figuring out what's, it, and so you can narrow it down so it ends up being very easy and ends up being a system, your own personal system of shapes and colors that work really great. And you're training your eye as right. you mm -hmm. do it, but Jen's big thing is great basics and passion pieces. So right. in the great basics, we're always going to be looking for some beautiful solids, great black pants, great chocolate pants, and then you can accessorize. And this is where you're also going to bring trend in. Exactly. Because if you mm -hmm. buy a beautiful scarf and you just wear it for a couple of seasons, it's okay. But maybe you don't want to buy a $300 suit to go to work right. and that's my of a key particular for, for, color. Um, um, for trend is not to spend a lot of money unless it happens to also be a passion piece for you. Right. So if it's something like this blue sweater, for instance, mm -hmm. if it's just because you wanted to be in this, this moment and, and it's great, then spend 50 no more than $100. But if it's like, oh my gosh, it's my favorite color. I just love this. I love this. I love this. Then spend whatever you feel comfortable with, but don't make it an inexpensive purchase. Make okay. it something that's going to last and keep in your wardrobe for the, years to come. So you're saying the quality. Exactly. Look for right. the quality. Exactly. But if you just want a little zip of fashion, a little zip of trend so you look like you're mm -hmm. on point, then it can be an inexpensive right. thing that you can buy an anywhere. You know. What and about scarves, too? Oops. I wanted to mm. ask you about oh, that. Absolutely. Is that are, still going to be? Scarves are everyone's friend, and they're always wonderful. Mm. Again, you need to know how much scarf can you handle. 
Mm -hmm. That's one question. Also, how do you want to wear your scarf? Do you want to wear it as a big wrap? Do you want it just as a sweet little extra thing? Do you want to wear it as a belt as well? So, um, and that again, and, and picking colors, the little trends of color, can, you can just do a little accent. Like if I had this as a little accent scarf around my neck, it'd be mm -hmm. fun. Just a little zip. So, get, yep, scarves are always terrific so year-round. I, I recommend people buying scarves. Did you have any advice on accessorizing? You know, with the earrings and the, we see a lot of these statement necklaces. Are those coming back? They are. The big power jewelry pieces are good. But again, you have to figure out, is it, you don't want it to overwhelm you. So, um, like on Susan, this That's power necklace piece. looks terrific. You can handle <laughs> that gorgeous Thank yumminess. You. The color is terrific. Yeah, um, and on, but on you, it might be too much. Might be too overpowering. You might be better with something a little more delicate in the pretty blues, but not quite so overpowering. So again, um, also what you're passionate about, what you love. If it's some also sentimental pieces, I find when women wear, dig out those things that you've gotten from a grandmother or a great aunt or something, and, and figure out how to use them. Mm -hmm. How to use them with a scarf? You know, make it right. as a scarf yeah. pin. May That's I true. Just remove this for a second. No, sure. well, you're, you're tied. Well, okay, yes, so I, I am well, tied so up. <laughs> but there is a way. I'll do it on you, Jen. Okay. Is that okay? Yep. So um, you could wear it the way Carlene is wearing the scarf, or you can drape it on your shoulders as though it's going to act like a shawl. So when mm -hmm. we talk about these sentimental pieces we all have, this is a great way to do it as well, to just bring it forward like that and pin it. Oh, that's so nice. Have, Very nice. And what we're doing is, of course, we're bringing the eye up, which is right. great, which is why scarves are so great. Because you can have who knows what on from the neck down, but when you have something beautiful and dramatic towards your neck, it just brings your eye completely up. It also allows you to take advantage of the color in the scarf, because now we're bringing this gold mm -hmm. forward, right. whereas if Jen were to wear it in this way, the accent of it is really more towards the waist. Mm -hmm. So depending on, on what she wants going on, this will give you... And again, depending on your body shape, what right. you want to accentuate Absolutely. and what you want to diminish, right. that's where you're going to have the accent. If you want, if you want people to be more up towards you, you want, you want the focus right. here. So that's, okay. that's why this jewelry is terrific for you. <laughs> you the, the neck, people are looking up this way. Also, you want people to talk right. to you, you know, so you want people looking at your eyes. Mm -hmm. They don't want to be looking at your belt down here. <laughs> and 90%, I mean? we, we can almost say unequivocally that we're all trying to bring the eye yeah, up rather exactly. than having, you know, having exactly. the eye down. Exactly. But, you know, if you go through your wardrobe like we went through Jennifer's <laughs> this morning this will extend your wardrobe out because right. uh, what you're just going to be pulling for this season is kind of what's on trend and what are the colors but there are other things in Jen's wardrobe that then will come forward next season so you get to really keep your wardrobe mm -hmm. going for that much longer right. which is right. a great idea just tuck some things away bring some things forward and really mm -hmm. with everything that I picked I picked what one two three four five about ten items Plus basics, I could wear this all winter long. Right, all fall right. and winter, and be done. Scars, just interchanging, absolutely. yeah. Yes. And I, I don't need a lot. If I'm traveling, I can just quickly take a few of these things and go. So it's it's all mixes and matches, and that's what's key because it gives you extra, an extra 15 minutes every morning if you pare it down and mm -hmm. and um, spend a little time up in the front of the season figuring out what you're going to wear, what colors you're going to wear. So it all works together. Right. Uh, do you have any um, advice for shoe shopping? Go and shoe shop <laughs> <laughs> as much as possible. Well, we all love shoes. Um, the Are ankle sure boot do? is very popular again this yes. fall. Oh, good. And flats, okay. flats and ankle boots are, are big trends. Um, and you, actually, again, that high boot again is still popular as well, wearing that high boot um, with tights and, and uh, the A-line dress. So you could even just do A-line dress, tights, and a tall boot, or the ankle boot, mm -hmm. or even the little flat. And, um, and off you go. And that's a great way to go from day to evening wear. You know, mm -hmm. to, to wear flats perhaps to work, then wear a high heel boot for the evening, mm -hmm. but keep the same outfit on. And again, if you were to wear the scarf such as Carlene's wearing it now, but in the evening you drape it over your shoulders and maybe draw it up with a beautiful accent piece, right. it's a totally different look. So just the mm -hmm. way you wear the very same clothes will take you from day to evening really nicely. Right. And we also really recommend just changing shoes at work. 
you know, mm -hmm. it's so hard to invest money in a beautiful pair of shoes, and then it's raining, and it's snowy, and True. it's icy. And flat shoes, they're hard to walk in in the winter because it's so slushy. So what we think is a great idea is just, you know, wear something practical to kind of get in the door, and then just change your shoes. It will save right. those beautiful shoes and allow you to not have to worry about what And the, I even do that when I go to an event, like, like we're Absolutely. somewhere. Yeah, I will take definitely. my, I'll wear my right. galoshes, you know, my, right. my big wintry boots and Get I'll have my, parking lot. Yeah, <laughs> and, I, and, I, and I bring a nice right. bag and, I, and I'm going to check my coat in anyways. I check right. my coat and my tote bag that has my Other shoes. boots and I put on right. my beautiful taxi shoes for the event, you know. Yeah. So that brings up a great um, subject, which I have a difficult time with. With all the regulations around with the airlines, I'm finding it more and more difficult with the packing. Do you have any good tips for packing? Less is more. Yeah, but how do so you, you can know? Travel, do and travel. Because again, you know? if you've got some great basics and you have interchangeable things and you've picked three colors, pick just two or three colors, if you're going for like less than, than a week, pick two fashion colors. If you're going for more than a week, then you can add a third fashion color. But if you do that, everything will work and mix and match together. And also, do not wear your sweatshirt and pants on the plane. <laughs> wear one of your outfits. So that's one outfit that doesn't yeah. have to be packed in the suitcase. And you right. might meet somebody, you might have a nice business meeting with somebody who just happened to be there. Instead of wearing a, a Cape Cod sweatshirt on the plane, you've got a beautiful outfit like you're wearing. And they're gonna take you more seriously as a businesswoman as well. Absolutely. And this is a great example. If Jen were to be traveling, this would be a great thing. To so wear I could wear this one on the plane. Print. Right. And I could and have these two outfits these. and I'm set. Right. And that'll take me tons That's of mixing gorgeous. and matching. That's gorgeous. Very nice. Right. Yep. Yeah. Well, ladies, thank you for joining thank you. us thank today. You for us. Yes, and this is fun. if you'd like to find out more about these experts, you can find information about them on WBOA.org. Thank you for joining us.